Hi, my name is Lincoln, and today is Lesson 73 on March 25th, 2023. In Science Today, I studied sharks, and this was Part 3. And the Greenland shark's skin is poisonous. And in their stomach, they have found a whole reindeer. Now, they live around Greenland and Iceland and those cold waters. But guess how many humans have be, been eaten by Greenland sharks? Zero. Never. Never in history. Just never. So, yeah. Um... And the Jaws attacks are actually based on 90 and 16 bull shark attacks in um, New Jersey. And the conclusion for science today is um, sharks are crazy animals that even some of them have, uh, have to endlessly swim or they sink. So, like, if they stop swimming, they, they just sink and die. That's pretty much what happens. In history today, I, uh, I studied the blast furnace, and this was uh, and, oops, sorry. Um, steel mill, and here's some facts. Steel mills have, uh, have blast furnaces, and the west's largest steel mill is in, in, is in Indiana. It's really weird to say in, 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 in Indiana. Um, I live in Indiana, that's why I just mentioned that fact. So, blast furnaces make iron from, uh, coal and other, um, metals. Or materials, whatever you want to call it. And the conclusion for history today is, without the furnace, a lot of metals wouldn't exist, and my father would not have this job right now. Now, in English today, I studied double negatives. And here's an example. Ain't got no and don't not. And here's an example sentence. I ain't need no help. And the vocabulary word for today is request, meaning ask politely or formally. And also, um, what de double negatives are, are like, um, there are two negatives. So, n not and don't. Don't, not. So, so it's pretty much do not, not. And, uh... Here's the conclusion. I was just using these before I learned it, and these are uh, not grammar worthy at all. If you type this on like your computer, um, it's gonna correct you. In math today, I studied dry measure. This was lesson 47, page 92, and problems 15 through 28. The conclusion for math today is. Uh, eight pints, well, here's an example. Eight pints equals two quarts. And lastly, I did my worksheet and read chapter 11 of Dr. Doolittle. Here's what happened in chapter 11. They, they were setting off, and then the king caught them. And they were act, uh, locked up tight. Polynesia at acted as a fairy to the king's son and told him to save the doctor. Well, pretty much. Not, that's not exactly what she told uh, the kid, to, the um, king's son to do. But yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm wearing my favorite color right now. Under my like, second favorite color, purple. That, that's pretty cool. I, that was very convenient. I literally just picked it from my a uh, dresser and just went, thought like, oh, I, I didn't even mind the color. I was like, my two favorite colors, you know? So, yeah, see you f tomorrow for lesson 74. 74. Oh, sorry, it's not letting me, uh, uh, stop the video. Hold on. Okay, bye now.